invite, um, we have two speakers left, three, then we invite questions if we have them for Bruce Cooper. Uh, let me first go to Ellen Nyongo, I hope you will be brief, then come to Ronald, and then Dennis and Musimi. Alright, all right. so I was saying that, yes, it's very uh, critical for us to be in this discussion, discussing this uh, book that uh, economists have seen some great insights from. Uh, but uh, imagining this aspect of what this man overemphasizes, it makes me question what audience was he trying to uh, talk to? Um, what was his intention towards uh, pushing for this ideology? And how can we be realistic in discussing this aspect of the divine economy? Yes? Uh, I would want to jump straight to the to chapter to chapter three. That's where he emphasizes religion. Yes, talk about ethics, uh, morality, uh, religion, and all that. And I find a lot of uh, should I say imperfections to my side because I always want to tell you guys that one road to success can be the same to doom. He over he emphasizes on the universality of things where something can apply elsewhere and apply also here. But that has always been tried out and just failed. Okay? So if I thought this is the Australian economy model, then probably it might also have default to not now base it in the African context or the Ugandan context. But apparently I can't go against what he says about how the economy has to operate and how we can ensure that the micro and the macro uh, levels are you know are harmonized and you know considered in this aspect. But when it comes to morality, ethics and uh, trying to building an aspect of ethics being merged with, uh, with, uh, with economics. I think, I, I think he, he, he tends to forget about some other aspects that makes other economists even more superior from this aspect, you know? There are other people who have made it without even doing it morally, but that apparently they are where they are. We talk of those people like, uh, like most of these rich people in, in America, yes? talk about Bill Gates and whatever, these are people who have that money, yes? In DRC, very many people are being killed, they are manufactured, Ebola was manufactured also, and there are some other diseases that were manufactured that are killing these people, but these people have sums, lots of sums of money in their accounts, but we're talking about ethics. What is ethics? Is ethics really divine? It talks about the natural tendencies of us knowing how some things have to be done, but it forgets one other thing that it's, economics is like even now uh, like uh, a war, yes, and it's built on deception. That's why there's advertisement where I can advertise for an Infinix phone and it might be bought more than a techno phone. Yet the Infinix phone is not good. So the advertisement is a distortion of our choices. For example, like South Africa, 77 percent of the land is to the whites, yes. Uh, 15 percent is to the colored, whom I will call the half castes, you know, you know. And 5% uh, is to the Indian uh, businessmen, and 4% is to the what? Blacks, individuals there. Okay? So if at all the economy is the will of God, as Bruce talks about, then probably he's really trying to nullify this aspect of some people having more than the others. Because when you talk about property rights, yes, probably everybody has to have an entitlement to property. Yes? It's like human rights, yes? Uh, some of us who study human rights will tell you that yes, that is the first generation of rights, property rights. But you can have property rights and at the same time not have full, uh, maybe you cannot have any fulfillment with your property. You can have land in the village, land that is worth like maybe four acres, but someone has only one land in, in Kampala and is using it fruitfully. You get? But you who has the four acres in the village may not end up you know, using it the way it should be used, you get. But what I'm trying to mean is that there are also other aspects, the taxation, the other things that make things hard in the life, yes. We talk about buy Uganda, build Uganda, but the products in Uganda, things that are made in Uganda are more expensive than things 